or my baked beans, I'm going to be using what I have here that have been soaking overnight is one bag of pinto beans and a bag of navy beans. So they have been soaking and I'm going to go ahead and rinse them and we're going to go ahead and get everything mixed up. These are the ingredients that we will be using. And as usual, I will list everything down in the description box for you. All right, let's go ahead and get these beans on, guys. I've started to chop down my vegetables. Um, I'm actually going to add in my onions with my turkey and my bacon. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'll go ahead and finish chopping these up and we'll get everything mixed in. I have a little olive oil in the bottom of my pan and I'm now frying up my turkey bacon. Okay, I add a little bit more cumin and some of my California brown garlic salt. I have all my ingredients portioned off so that I can go ahead and pour everything up or mix everything up into my beans. Okay, here are my beans. I'm going to go in with my apple juice, water, my brown sugar. It's really packed in there too. Where's my spatula? There we go, got it. Apple cider vinegar. I'm doing two teaspoons of salt. And this is kosher salt that I'm using. mustard that I'm using so I'm going to start out with two teaspoons I poured up three but I'm gonna my two teaspoons I have one fourth cup of tomato sauce I'm using half a cup of tomato paste my one fourth cup of maple syrup. One fourth cup of molasses. And I'm gonna start out with a little barbecue sauce. In this cup, I have three-fourths cup poured up, but I'm going to go ahead, get everything mixed in, see what it tastes like, and if I need to add anything more, we will go ahead and do, and do that. So let me get a tasting spoon. Wow. All right, guys, that's it. We don't need to add any more seasonings. And this is one whole cup of turkey. I'm using a portion of my onions and my bacon. Not all of it because I'm actually doing two. Two pots of um, baked beans. Put some of these green onions in there. Not a lot, just a few. A few of my green onions. And some of my chopped bell peppers.
And I'm gonna drop in a few pieces of beef sausage. I'm going to add a little bit more water, but not a lot. I don't want to drown these, but I do want to get some liquid to help it um, come to a, a nice boil once it gets heated up. All right, I'm using a total of five cups of beans. I'm gonna cover these and let them go. Okay, I'm letting these beans come to a boil. I started these at home, but I am now at someone else's house and using their stove because we're having a get together. So I'm trying to get these to do what I need them to do. And using someone else's stove can be a challenge. So I'm gonna go adjust the temperatures and see what happens and how long this is gonna take us because these should have been done by now, but they are still cooking. And then I'm going to let these boil for a little bit, and then I'm going to transfer them over to the oven. All right, guys, I'm videoing the last of the beans or the final stage of the beans. So how were the beans, everybody? Delicious! <laughs> All right, you guys heard it for yourselves. Try this recipe.